Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta the Crochet World and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment on my videos and today we are going to do this beautiful pattern for an egg. Now I'm going to do it for an Easter egg but this is a stuffed egg and uh, you can use it for uh, any occasion and I'm going to make it for the Easter as my Easter egg. So for this one I've used my 100% cotton yarn and I've used my 3mm of the hook. So let's begin. Okay, so for this one, we're going to have our yarn and we're going to make a magic circle here. Now for the magic circle, just put your yarn on your fingers like this and have your yarn around your fingers and make an X here, somewhere in here. So make an X and you're going to have two strain of yarns at the back. Now take your hook and insert your hook in this position. So your hook should be below your first strain of yarn and above your second strain of yarn. Now you grab your second strain of yarn through your first strain of yarn and turn your hook in this way. And that's it. This is your magic circle. Now here I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to make this chain one only to tie up my this um, magic circle. And I'm not going to count this chain one as my stitch so just have a chain one to secure your magic circle and now insert your hook into this magic circle grab your yarn and have your first single crochet and now we're gonna have six single crochets in total for our this round round number one so that's our first single crochet and this is our second single crochet and keep on doing your single crochet so it's th third single crochet four five and six and here it is, we have our six single crochets for our round number one. And I'm going to pull my yarn to tighten up my this magic circle. And now I'm going to insert my hook into my this first stitch like this. My first single crochet of my round number one. And now I'm going to grab the yarn. I'm going to have two loops. Now I'm going to yarn over and pull my yarn through both the loops and this is my first single crochet of my round number two. Now to make sure that this is the first stitch of my round number two I'm gonna insert my stitch marker here so that I will remember that this is the first stitch of my round number two. Now for this round number two we're gonna have two single crochets into each stitch from the previous round. So in total we're gonna have our 12 single crochets on this round round number two so for that one i'm going to insert my hook again into my this first stitch of my round number one and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my another single crochet so that's my two single crochet into one stitch and for the second stitch i'm going to have another two single crochets and keep on doing your two single crochets into each stitch for this round round number two and you're going to have your 12 single crochets and i'm going to meet you after my 12 single crochets and here it is, I have my 12 single crochets and now I'm going to take out my this stitch marker for my round number 3 and I will insert my hook into my this first stitch of my round, round number 2 and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a single crochet here for my round number 3. Now this is the first stitch of my round number 3 and for the round number 3, we're going to have one single crochet on each stitch from the previous round and by the end of your round number 3, you're going to have your 12 single crochets and here it is. Your round number three has 12 stitches, one single crochet on each stitch. Now for your round number four, I'm going to take out the stitch marker. And we'll insert my hook into my this first stitch of my round number three. We'll grab the yarn and we'll make one single crochet here. And I will put my stitch marker back on. And now again, we're going to have an increase here. So for that one, have your first stitch, have your one single crochet. And into your second stitch, we're going to have two single crochets. So it's one and... Two. Now the next stitch we're going to have one single crochet and into the next stitch we're going to have two single crochets and now by the end of round number four we're going to have our 18 stitches. Keep on doing one single crochet then two single crochets, one single crochet then two single crochets and I'm going to meet you after my round number four. And here it is I have my 18 stitches for my round number four. I'm going to turn this uh, work of mine and I will have it inside out so that this is my stitches so this stitches will be 
out now and now for my round number five i'm gonna have one single crochet into each stitch so i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker will insert my hook into my this first stitch of my round number four and i will make my first single crochet there and now i'm gonna have one single crochet on each stitch do not forget to put your stitch marker back on so that you will remember that which stitch is your first stitch and i'm gonna meet you after my this round round number five with my 18 single crochets one single crochet on each stitch and here it is after my round number five i have my 18 stitches and i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and now for the round number six we are again gonna have increase so for that one insert your hook into your first stitch grab your yarn and make a first single crochet put your stitch marker back on now this is the first stitch of your round number six and into the next stitch we're gonna have one single crochet now into the next stitch we're gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch so it's one and two now again next two stitches we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch and into the stitch after that we're gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch so now keep on repeating this pattern uh, for the first two stitches have one single crochet on each stitch and on the third stitch have two single crochets into that one stitch and you're gonna have your 24 stitches by the end of this round round number six and i'm gonna meet you after my 26 stitches after my round number six now after my round number six i have my 24 stitches and now i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker for my round number seven and here i'm gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my first single crochet here and do not forget to put your stitch marker back on so that you will remember that this is the first stitch of your every round so this is my stitch marker of my first stitch and for my round number seven i'm gonna have one single crochet on each stitch so keep on doing one single crochet on each stitch and by the end of your round number seven you're gonna have 24 single crochets 24 stitches and i'm gonna meet you after my round number seven and here it is at the end of my round number seven i have my 24 stitches and now i'm going to take out my this stitch marker and will insert my hook into my this first stitch of my round number seven and will make my first stitch for my round number eight and now i'm going to repeat my round number seven one single crochet on each stitch until round number 12. so next five rounds round number eight nine ten eleven and twelve we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch and by the end of every round we're gonna have 24 stitches and do not forget to put your stitch marker so that you will remember that this is your first stitch and repeat your round number seven until your round number 12 and i will meet you after my round number 12. okay so after my round number 12 i have my 24 single crochet stitches and now i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and for the round number 13 we're gonna make a decrease here and now we're gonna make an invisible decrease here for our round number 13 now for the round number 13 for the first two stitches we're going to have one single crochet on each stitch so grab your yarn and make your first single crochet here put your stitch marker back on so that you will remember that this is your first stitch so that's one and one and now as we're going to make a decrease here take the first loop the front loop of your next stitch now grab the yarn you're gonna have two loops on your hook into the next stitch insert your hook into your front loop only grab your yarn and now you're gonna have three loops now yarn over and spool your yarn through all your three loops and this is an invisible decrease here now again next two stitches we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch so it's one and one and for the next two stitches we're gonna make a decrease here so for that one insert your hook into your front loop of your next stitch grab your yarn and insert your hook again into the front loop of your next stitch and grab your yarn and you're gonna have three loops yarn over and pull your yarn through three loops next two stitches you're gonna have one single crochet on each stitches and keep on doing this stitches and by the end of this round round number 13 we're gonna have 18 single crochets and i'm gonna meet you after my round number 13 and here it is after my round number 13 i have my 18 stitches and i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker for my round number 14 
and again here we're gonna make a decrease on our round number 14 so for that one insert your hook into your first stitch grab your yarn and make one single crochet and put your stitch marker back on so that you will remember this is your first stitch and now the next two stitches we're gonna make a decrease so insert your hook into the front loop of your first your second stitch and grab your yarn and into your third stitch again take the front loop and grab your yarn make this and make a decrease and that's your two stitches the next one will be the noble single crochet and for the next one we're gonna make an invisible decrease so it's one and one next one one single crochet and for the next one again a decrease one and one and now keep on repeating this pattern and by the end of this round you're gonna have your 12 stitches and I'm gonna meet you after my round number 14 and here it is after my round number 14 I have my 12 stitches and the last one is my invisible decrease and now I'm gonna pull the yarn a little bit longer and now we're gonna stuff our this egg our Easter egg and for that one we're gonna need a toy filling here and we're gonna stuff it so just put it inside and whenever you're doing this uh, stuffing just make sure that your stuffing is not too tight and not too loose so just keep it in mind and here it is and now we're gonna have our last round round number 15. so for our last round we're gonna make a decrease so for that one here i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and I will straightway make a decrease so for that one i'm gonna insert my hook into the front loop of my next stitch and we'll grab the yarn and the front loop of my next stitch and we'll again grip, grab the yarn and i'm gonna have three loops and we'll yarn over and pull my yarn through all three loops and this is my first stitch so i'm gonna make i'm gonna put my this stitch marker back on and now again into the next stitch we're gonna have a decrease so take the front loops of your next two stitches grab the yarn and make one stitch and keep on doing this uh, decrease and by the end of our this round round number 15 we're gonna have six single crochets and I'm gonna meet you after my round number 15 and here it is I have my six stitches after my round number 15 and now I'm gonna pull this yarn and we'll cut my yarn Secure your last stitch, take out your stitch marker and have your needle. Now here, as we're gonna close this uh, last round, I'm gonna insert my needle in this way. So I'm gonna do it one side in and one side out. And now if you think that your work have uh, some flaws here or uh, the stitches or the decreases are not good enough and you can see the stuffing, you can always uh, use this loose end to manage your uh, work here. So if you are feeling that it's been happening in here, you can always put your this loose end inside and attach your gaps here. For that one i don't have that many of gaps so it's gonna be all right and now i'm just gonna make one knot here to secure my yarn like this and now i will put my this loose end in
Here it is. And now we can cut your yarn. And here it is. My eggs are ready. And I hope you have liked my today's tutorial. If you have liked, please like, share and comment on my videos. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Till then. Bye.